Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, currently has a value composite score of 82. Similarly, the value composite 2, VC2, is calculated with the same ratios, but adds the shareholder yield. The value composite 2 of Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, is 82. Stock market investors often rely on fundamental analysis for stock research. The EPS or earnings per share ratio shows the amount of company earnings that can be attributed to every share that is held. EPS lets investors directly compare one company to another when examining potential investments. Investors are typically searching for stocks that have a growing EPS. The EPS measure tends to be more telling when viewed over a longer period of time. When companies report quarterly earnings, the EPS measure is highly scrutinized by investors and analysts alike. In taking a look at some other notable technicals, Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, TETS ROIC is minus 0.180855. The ROIC 5 year average is minus 0.469291, and the ROIC quality ratio is minus 0.792086. ROIC is a profitability ratio that measures the return that an investment generates for those providing capital. ROIC helps show how efficient a firm is at turning capital into profits. The QI value of Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, is 60.00000. The QI value is a helpful tool in determining if a company is undervalued or not. The QI value is calculated using the following ratios, EBITDA yield, earnings yield, FCF yield, and liquidity. The lower the QI value, the more undervalued the company is thought to be. The FCF yield 5 years average is calculated by taking the 5-year average free cash flow of a company and dividing it by the current enterprise value. Enterprise value is calculated by taking the market capitalization plus debt, minority interest and preferred shares, minus total cash and cash equivalents. The average FCF of a company is determined by looking at the cash generated by operations of the company. The free cash flow yield 5-year average of Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, is minus 0.005786. Shareholder yield. We also note that Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, has a shareholder yield of minus 0.048445 and a shareholder yield, Mebane Faber, of minus 0.03706. The first value is calculated by adding the dividend yield to the percentage of repurchased shares. The second value adds in the net debt repaid yield to the calculation. Shareholder yield has the ability to show how much money the firm is giving back to shareholders via a few different avenues. Companies may issue new shares and buy back their own shares. This may occur at the same time. Investors may also use shareholder yield to gauge a baseline rate of return. MF Rank Ring Central Incorporated, New York Stock Exchange RNG, has a current MF Rank of 12,431. Developed by hedge fund manager Joel Greenblatt, the intention of the formula is to spot high-quality companies that are trading at an attractive price. The formula uses ROIC and earnings yield ratios to find quality, undervalued stocks. In general, companies with the lowest combined rank may be the higher quality picks. Pi. We can now take a quick look at some historical stock price index data. Ring Central Incorporated. New York Stock Exchange RNG presently has a 10-month price index of 2.19630. The price index is calculated by dividing the current share price by the share price 10 months ago. A ratio over 1 indicates an increase in share price over the period. A ratio lower than 1 shows that the price has decreased over the time period. Looking at some alternate time periods, the 12-month Price index is 2.19124, the 24 month is 2.29157, and the 36 month is 3.83468. Narrowing in a bit closer, the 5 month 
price index is 1.34703, the 3 month is 1.26127, and the 1 month is currently 1.09436. Taking a look at valuation rankings for Cirrus Logic Incorporated. NASDAQ Crust, we see that the stock has a value composite score of 30. Adding a sixth ratio, shareholder yield, we can view the value composite 2 score which is currently sitting at 40. Technicals For technical traders, support and resistance lines play an important role. The support line generally displays the lowest price that investors will let a stock trade. This means that the stock price is unlikely to drop under this level. When support lines are breached, chartists may be watching for shares to move lower until they reach the next support level. The resistance line is the exact opposite of the support line. The resistance level is typically the highest price that investors will allow the stock to trade at. Traders will carefully watch the stock price when a resistance level is broken. The thought is that the price will continue to move towards the next level of resistance. Traders and investors may use support and resistance lines for various purposes. One popular use of these lines is to identify possible entry and exit points for trades. In taking a look at some other notable technicals, Cirrus Logic Incorporated, NASDAQ Cross, S ROIC is 0.522793. The ROIC 5 year average is 0 0.427006 and the ROIC quality ratio is 2.668339. ROIC is a profitability ratio that measures the return that an investment generates for those providing capital. ROIC helps show how efficient a firm is at turning capital into profits. We also note that Cirrus Logic Incorporated, Nasdaq's Cross, has a shareholder yield of minus 0.021142 and a shareholder yield, Mebane Faber, of 0.03922. The first value is calculated by adding the dividend yield to the percentage of repurchased shares. The second value adds in the net debt repaid yield to the calculation. Shareholder yield has the ability to show how much money the firm is giving back to shareholders via a few different avenues. Companies may issue new shares and buy back their own shares. This may occur at the same time. Investors may also use shareholder yield to gauge a baseline rate of return. Cirrus Logic Incorporated, Nasdaq Cross, has a current MF rank of 793. Developed by hedge fund manager Joel Greenblatt, the intention of the formula is to spot high quality companies that are trading at an attractive price. The formula uses ROIC and earnings yield ratios to find quality, undervalued stocks. In general, companies with the lowest combined rank may be the higher quality picks. We can now take a quick look at some historical stock price index data. Cirrus Logic Incorporated, Nasdaq Cross, presently has a 10-month price index of 0 0.98943. The price index is calculated by dividing the current share price by the share price 10 months ago. A ratio over 1 indicates an increase in share price over the period. A ratio lower than 1 shows that the price has decreased over the time period. Looking at some alternate time periods, the 12-month price index is 1.06687, the 24-month is 1.94088, and the 36-month is 2.90096. Narrowing in a bit closer, the 5-month Price index is 0 0.88421, the 3 month is 1.02993, and the 1 month is currently 1.04596. The C score is a system developed by James Montier that helps determine whether a company is involved in falsifying their financial statements. The C score is calculated by a variety of items, including a growing difference in net income versus cash flow, increasing days outstanding, growing day sales of inventory, increasing assets to sales, declines in depreciation, and high total asset growth. The C score of Cirrus Logic Incorporated, Nasdaq Cross, is 2.000. The score ranges on a scale of minus 1 to 6. If the score is minus 1, then there is not enough information to determine the C score. If the number is at 0, 
zero, then there is no evidence of fraudulent book cooking, whereas a number of six indicates a high likelihood of fraudulent activity. The C-score assists investors in assessing the likelihood of a company cheating in the books.